here we are in Belgium and Cine Military Antique Show. Early shoulder straps, producer markings, quite a big size. Also a mint condition. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Nice stuff. Hello everybody, this is War Story Video Blog. I am Alex and I almost lost my voice, but uh, my friend Mitri will tell you some stories about stuff on his box. And I asked him uh, to make unboxing for us uh, and all stuff uh, we will see today in, uh, Dmitry found on this exhibition in Cine uh, 2022. Dmitry, hello. Hello. How are you? How was your show? Fine. Very fine. And um, did you find a lot or is, is it all items you found? I just or... show what, what I found. Uh -huh. uh, mostly, mo most of our interest uh, was there uh, to buy, not to sell, not, not to sell because uh, that hard time is very hard to find nice and to very good items. Most of antique shows uh, closed. Uh, uh, in Germany uh, after the COVID time and some other uh -huh. reasons, okay. I don't know. But, uh, for example, I will show the items which I've got here in Cine Show. So, this is a tunic parade waffen rock for anti-tank uh, up dial 34. You can see hand embroidered early shoulder straps with a nice dome with a pink thread zippers, which means anti-tank gunner. So that, that is a very nice tricot clothes, tricot wool, officer's quality, unmarked unfortunately, but tailored as must be. Early example with such a kind of uh, pockets. pockets, but unfortunately no any markings, no any labels from a tiler but what is uh, nice it's uh, absolutely has no any damage more damage or uh, just a traces of use yeah, it's really nice condition and next one is uh, something also rare it's a uh, very rare <clears throat> eastern <throat> territories rmbo uh, tunic, absolutely mint condition. It mm -hmm. has a strange officer's eagle. Never seen such a such a kind of eagle, but it's uh, originally zigzag stitched to the tunic, and uh, it's hidden under the uh, under the liner of uh, uh, from the sleeves. So here is uh, we can see markings. Mm -hmm. Producer markings, quite a big size, 94 breast and uh, 70 is full length, 61 is length of the cuffs. Uh, rouge wool cloth, but typical for uh, Rambo tunics, which is uh, quite, quite a rare. Yeah, all but items by uh, R&B is rare. It's a specific, specific items. Yeah. This one is a set of uh, trousers and the tunic. Uh, from Errol Bear. This is a uh, Reichsluftschutzbund. Uh, most probably is a cuff title, uh, not a cuff title, armband is not from this tunic, uh, but the tunic itself is mint with all original applied insignia in officer's rank and uh, not a typical item you can see every day because I think it's too rare to be <laughs> to be true. So this example is uh, you can see Tyler it Tyler label. First time I see with the name which I will be attached there, name of the owner. But extremely nice, extremely fine, and uh, extreme rare item for collection. Uh, so other for me, items. it's very important because uh, it's almost impossible to find complete trousers for it. Uh, they for are it just sense, so just mint yeah. and crisp, still crisp. Yeah, yeah. 
in mint condition. Okay, and what in the box? In the box we have a M35 Luftwaffe <coughs> helmet in uh, as uh, uh, known in collector's world like uh, Norman Di Camo, but it's isn't uh, real true because uh, we found such a helmet in Eastern Front and uh, sometimes in uh, in the Northern Europe, like uh, Denmark and uh, Norwegian. Uh, this is the same uh, the same type type of the camouflage. Uh, this is a very nice uh, double decal, very early 1936 helmet because it's uh, uh, without reinforcement liner, without the reinforcement aluminum liner. Uh, only one detail which is uh, incorrect for this helmet, it's uh, uh, change it due of age or due of uh, use. They replace the, uh, the chin strap, uh, which is a Pozenek 1942. I will not remove it, but uh, if I sell it, I will add the extra one. Uh, extra, yes, extra, and uh, no, which is uh, per per perfectly fit uh, LBA market uh, chin strap. There, it's named. It. You can see it's named. It. And uh, what is very important, liner has been never changed on this uh, helmet. Mm -hmm. So this is a very nice and truly really mint example of very early uh, visor hat. Keras visor hat with a uh, brass insignia, which is a, uh, a rare that they are originally attached. It's a factory attachment or uh, you can see it's just mint. That's why I buy it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Alex, uh, take this hat and I give yeah. him a chance to be first hand. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> uh, another one, Example is the uh, Tino tunic. Uh, it's uh, similar to the police tunic, but uh, you can see it's marked uh, there. Is it size markings? And, size uh, markings, Tino 52, proof. yes. And uh, so you can see flat wire insignia on the sleeve, uh, branch insignia, uh, Tino eagle, sleeve eagle. You know, shoulder strap teeny, very, very fine, and it's also a mint condition. Same tunic, I have a also Tino, another one uh, another for one. another unit, but this is a, a everyday parade service tunic. So you can see it's uh, buttons uh, with uh, Tino insignia. Tino insignia, yes. And uh, as we can see, this is an old fighter who was a veteran of First World War with the Iron Cross 1914 and uh, two campaigns for uh, annexation of uh, Czech with the Prague town and uh, Austria. Mm -hmm. And this is a private purchase example. Uh, for name it Wilhelm Albrecht nice. and the year 1940. Arch. Another example is uh, mid war made Gebirgsjager Mütze uh, in very nice condition, mint condition, made by Berolina 1943. Interestingly, awesome. stitch it. I bought it here, yes. it's How much it was? I think I paid more than a 1,000. No. Such a condition, the mint condition mm -hmm. is very nice. Close, Hard to find. Yes, close uh, is not my focus. So sometimes I'm surprised about prices. Okay. <laughs> uh, from the same seller, I've got uh, another one hat, mm -hmm. which I think is also uh, for Gebir Siager, but we can see uh, at the moment, it's not typical uh, officers M43. I think it's for Gibrixiager, just without the uh, side edel base on it. It's also made in Wien, markings here, absolutely minty and uh, made from artificial silk liner, like we can see on uh, any late war tunics. It's uh, viscose liner. 
but the head itself made is from a from a very thin officer quality uh, tricot uh, diagonal wool and inside is i don't know it's a press stop or something like that uh, inside of the visor what else another one is uh Greeks marine tropical uh, tropical hat in minty condition it has uh, also markings on the liner you can see Franz Rippel absolutely nice mint nice nice hat interestingly that it's made uh, normally the hat made from two different details this part from this part but here it's just you can see it's a stitching it's stitched here which is not normal and what else we can one minty m43 and mint condition mm -hmm. it's not a mint it's practically unworn mm -hmm. it's dated 1943 and tracks betrips numa which is indicate the product uh, producer uh, producer yeah. producer marking coded producer mark markings so this is the price not a price must probably a gift for a commander of uh, this unit which shown here you can see the name uh, Leutnant uh, Schnepf zur Erinnerung an das Kriegsjahr 1939-40 Beobachtersatzung uh, Bataillon 5 Schwer Gemünd Schwabin uh, another one example is a shooting prize uh, from the uh, pre-war time. Interesting motif is a big sold, uh, big, big frame with a soldier's face and helmet and the uh, collar with insignia and eagle there. Like so, another one is the same example. Beautiful helmet M16, also the shooting price from the light machine gun. The machine Nine. gunner stuff is uh, yeah. valuable. How much it was? Uh, How much I, it will be? Okay. It will be around two, 200 or more. Okay. Okay. And what else? So, else is the uh, awards. Awards. Yeah, there's awards. There is no, nothing. A special, just uh, regular hours, but some interesting producers. Not uh, typical. Mm -hmm. Some is uh, interesting. It's a lot. Uh, all this stuff you find also here. Yeah, I, I book this all here, but. I will not show all because it's it takes a lot of time. Yeah, but some of ours, it's, uh, almost closed. Yeah, almost closed. But some very nice examples is a uh, bunt metal, very nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have no time to show all this stuff uh, now because the uh, show is almost show over. Go. Oh. Exactly. But um, we can take picture of uh, all this stuff and I can ask uh, Dmitry to put uh, all this stuff to my website and you can uh, see it also you can see it on uh, his website yes yes <laughs> yeah and uh, what else do you do here here I see a few items more and uh, so uh, yeah. this is a, what is interesting this is a crusher SS hat which has been found in this shape. Okay. It needs to be reshaped oh. and a little bit clean it. I have a professional restorer who, who will help me to clean it mm -hmm. and uh, you will exactly see after uh, all will be done. Okay. This is an M40 SS uh, side hat, garrison hat. Uh, unfortunately, insignia are removed. Mm -hmm. Both it like this is in the stamps inside. Yes, it's it's market it's market there. Uh, mm -hmm. That's very interesting. Okay. So, 
Dmitry, um, how was your show? Did you enjoy it or did, I, did you enjoy I, it? There? Every time I enjoyed any show uh -huh. because it's it give me always something interesting and new items and uh, any show I'm uh, learning something new. So <laughs> that's it. I'm happy. I'm really happy. Nice stuff. Yes. Nice condition. Real collectible. Yeah. I am happy too and I am happy to show all this stuff to you and um, I hope you enjoy this video, I hope you enjoy uh, this unpacking. If you want, uh, we can ask Dmitry uh, to show something uh, more close so he can uh, send pictures of stuff like that. And um, so I gotta go to another location because uh, next few days I will film uh, several museums but I have to recover my voice. Um, probably I need day off. So, today this show is over and uh, Dmitry, thank you very much for thank you very your video. Much. Thank yes, you very much. thank you very Guys. much for uh, watching this video until the end. Uh, press uh, like button, subscribe button and see you next time. See you real soon. Bye.